Hi, so my friends, what's up? It's another Feature Friday over at Love Notions, and today's Feature Friday pattern is the Game Day Jersey Collection. That means there is a ladies' version, the men's version, and the kids' version. Obviously, I made the ladies' version. Keep watching. <laughs> So when you first hear game the jersey, you're probably thinking of some sort of sports team or some sort of sports jersey, right? Well, newsflash, your girl is not a sports fan. Like I have some really horrible, embarrassing stories from my sports meets at school. I don't do sports. I don't do anything athletic. And honestly, some of those things still haunt me to this day. Like just think about placing last in every single race in your life ever that's me so i don't do sports i don't care for sports i don't know what sports luckily my hubby is not a sports fan either and um, the only sport he was really into growing up was cricket and funny enough i can't stand cricket so we i ne we never have sports on the tv or anything so for this jersey i decided to put my own little spin on it instead of going the sports route so for my game the jersey i just stay true to myself I love a good tie-dye print. Y'all know this tie-dye is my thing and I'm really happy it's trending right now so that I can find all pretty tie-dye fabrics literally in any fabric store, whether online or here locally. Tie-dye is all over the place and I am loving it. Also in this tie-dye, I don't know if you can tell, but there is a little bit of animal print, which is also like my next <laughs> favorite print in the entire world. So I just made a little casual tee to run around in, do some errands, take a walk on the beach, just to live my daily life <laughs> and I think this tea is gonna get so much wear it is not just gonna hang in my wardrobe for sure because I am a t-shirt and jeans kind of gal not even jeans anymore a t-shirt and shorts kind of gal I live in t-shirts and shorts every single day of my life and any local source who's watching this video if you have met me in person because I have met a few of you you probably saw me in a t-shirt and shorts that is my everyday uniform so this fits right into my wardrobe and like i said it doesn't match any kind of sports team colors or anything this is just all me so one of the main things that i love about the game the jersey is how easy it is to customize to your own taste your own style your own preferences um based on your fabric choice also there is color blocking opportunities as you can see there are also these lovely stripes on the sleeve which we'll get into in a little bit so i used double brush poly which is not your typical t-shirt fabric um i know a lot of people try to avoid double brush poly thinking it's really warm but as you can see this is a very loose fitting t-shirt so it's not going to keep me hot and when i was trying to decide on my color blocking that same week i got some happy fabric mail from elephant fabrics so one day i was scrolling instagram and i saw they posted that they had some dead stock designer dead stock athletic knits um they were on sale i don't remember the price but they were reasonable i don't know if it's like five or six dollars a yard and obviously when you're making workout gear it's easy to piece together so you don't exactly need much so i think i just bought like one yard of the different colors that they had available two of those fabrics were mesh fabrics and this white is one of them so this is an athletic mesh knit it has little tiny holes i know you can't see from there but i will have a close photo so you can really see the texture so this is the white one i also got this in black so the black i knew for sure i was going to use leggings sports bras but the white i was a little bit unsure of but because of the price point and because i knew i was only going to buy a yard and i'll probably use it for little color blocking stuff in my athletic wear I decided to just go for it and then i thought about the fact that white is probably going to get really dirty in athletic wear when you're working out so when i got it in person i was like maybe i should not have gotten the white and then it just hit me that the white would go perfect with this double brush poly to make my games day games day game day jersey and it really does go perfectly and remember i said that some people think that double brush poly is a little bit warm which by the way i am roasting in here right now and it has nothing to do with this fabric is because i am totally locked in 
because my neighbor is doing some renovations and right now I'm hearing some sort of power drill or something really loudly so I am locked in in here. Fan is also off because I don't want it to distract. Um, it's kind of noisy too. So I'm roasting and it has nothing to do with the double brush poly. I am straying. Right, so adding the athletic knit up here which is a mesh. This portion which is like my armpit area and stuff is going to be very breathable. So to me this is just the perfect combination of fabrics. So I get to use my fancy tie dye prints and I also used the athletic mesh which helps to make it a little bit more breathable. I love the fact that this is more of a loose fitting tee. These days I'm just not into fitted t-shirts like it is just too hot. So I love the fact that this is a looser fit. Very very breezy. I made size large graded to extra large hip and I love that I have a little extra room in the hip so it's not stuck onto me in any way. Also I don't know if you can see but there are side slits. I will have to put up my side slit photos because I know you can't see. So that also helps it to feel really casual and chill and also just adds a little bit more room if you are a hippie girl like me. So the game day jersey for ladies comes in sizes extra small to 5x and hair is the fun part. It is not just a top. You can also make the dress version which is obviously on my list. This is actually my first game day jersey so I started with the jersey kind of playing it safe to see how I feel but the dress is definitely on my list. The sleeves are actually meant to be a little bit longer than this. It's more of that really sporty sleeve but I shot on my sleeves one and a half inches just personal preference I just prefer a shorter sleeve on me and because I use the athletic mesh you, you don't lose the sporty vibe even though I chop the sleeves you still have the sporty vibe because of the sleeve stripes and the fact that I use that athletic mesh knit so the sleeve stripes these sleeve stripes are optional you don't have to add them but this is what drew me to the person in the first place so of course I was gonna add them now it could be a little bit tricky to sew them on and I'm gonna insert a picture of how I sew it on mine listen I think I just used all my pins <laughs> to pin all of these sleeve stripes on I went crazy with the pins and then I used an edge stitch foot and that just did the trick it came out perfectly I'm super proud of how neat my sleeve stripes are now there are lines on the sleeve piece so you know exactly where to place your sleeve stripes obviously you could do your own thing but I went ahead and used the recommended location for my stripes and they worked out perfectly so the stripes are basically just half inch strips of fabric I use the same double brush poly prints on both sleeves I have two stripes on both sleeves absolutely love it and then of course you have this lovely yoke detail and the yoke detail carries around to the back of the shirt as well which is super super cute the dress version has a center back seam by the way I forgot to mention that and also you can make a three-quarter sleeve length so one of the fun options in this pattern is that you can choose what type of neckline you would like there is a v-neck which is the one I did it's an overlapped v-neck that gives that really varsity type vibe and then there's also just a regular crew neck now if you are afraid of v-necks ding 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 if you do not like sewing v-necks or you're terrified of v-necks that's you know that awkward pivot thing that you have to do at the center of the v-neck band where the point is that sometimes catches the fabric on the knees and then you have the seam rip and then it just gets untidy y'all know what i'm talking about this is not that v-neck okay this is the easiest v-neck you will ever do in your life this v-neck is applied open so you just stitch from one end of the yoke around and come back around and then once the band is on then you overlap and then you sew it on to the main piece really really easy and it looks like it took a lot more effort than it actually did now when i was finished sewing my game by jersey i hung it on my sewing room door that is like where i hang everything that needs to have a photo shoot so when i'm finished i'll hang it on my door so that it doesn't get creasy and just so i'm aware of it so every time i pass i'm like i need to shoot that i need to shoot that so i hung it on my sewing room door and when hubby came home from work that day and he walked in the house and saw it on the door his response was like whoa that's cool and he also said that he's never seen a shirt like this before obviously was that any source wants to hear and that is the joy of sewing and that is what i love so much about this pattern is the ability to just be creative 
play with the color blocking, play with the yoke, play with the sleeve stripes, mix up the neck lanes, all that jazz. And you can just totally customize the jersey to exactly what you have in your head. This turned out exactly as I imagined. And I guarantee you, there's no other <laughs> jersey like this in stores anyway the absolute joy of sewing your own clothes so i think hubby may have been throwing a little bit of hints saying that he wants one too and the good thing is that there is a men's game day jersey as well the men's game day jersey goes from extra small to 4x it has the same choice you can choose between the v-neck and the crew neck same split hem and it's a short sleeve so the ladies is on sale today for five dollars only the men's is on sale today for five dollars only and then they have not left out the kiddos so the kids version is also on sale today for five dollars and the kids version goes from 2 to 16 and it is gender neutral any child can wear this and there's the dress version as well for the little girls in your life the options for the kids version are exactly the same as the ladies you have short sleeve and three quarter sleeve. You have the two different neckline options. And like I said, you have the top or the dress. So let me know what you think of my game day jersey. Like I said, this is the first time I'm making this and I think this is my new jersey pattern. I just really like the way it fits. I forgot to say that I shot on the waist one inch from my height, but I just really love the way it fits me. It's very comfortable, very cool, very casual. I feel like I can wear this literally any day. Supermarket run shopping literally anything <laughs> so i will be living in this t-shirt and since i have the black mesh as well i'm thinking i'm going to use the black up top with a different print down be down below that goes with the black i just like the fact that it's not a basic t-shirt so i can throw on a t-shirt and shorts and head out but look like i made an effort and i tried and i didn't just throw on any old t-shirt you know what i mean like there is some a little bit of jazz to this one so if you want to grab the game day jersey whether for yourself or for the entire family i will have my affiliate link down below if you feel inspired by mine and you want to grab the pattern feel free to use my link i will earn a small commission at no extra cost to you and of course i will truly appreciate that so let me know down below what you guys think of my game day jersey I'm gonna insert my photos now so you can see me frolicking on the beach in my new tie-dye top. That is it for me today if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up also hit the subscribe button down below if you have not done so already don't forget to click that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post a new video i will see you guys in my next one bye